episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Le Fonts campaign. I just said that, didn't I? Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Don't, don't leave, people. Don't leave. This is the Canadian let's play. Trust me. So, God save the Queen and all that. But, yeah, I messed up. So, sorry. But, anyways, we are here in this let's play where we were just about to finally, after seven years, I think, of doing this, we're finally about ready to go establish a protectorate. And, let me guess, it's against the British. No, it's against Denmark? Huh. I wouldn't mind. Oh, let's see. Denmark. Who are you protected by? The Germans. Okay. Um. Gain a place under the sun from them. Hmm. Iceland and Greenland. Hmm. You know, I would not mind that. Having Iceland and Greenland? No, that would kind of complete another Canadian mark. Actually, can we do this? Can we actually do this? Iceland and Greenland. Yeah, because we don't need the Dutch West Indies. Let's see, will Germany join in? Mm. Yeah, we don't want to do this if the Germans don't want to join in. Because this would be quite unpeasable if we did not. Hmm. Let's try it. Oh, the Germans join in. Okay, that's good. And then now the UK doesn't want to join in. Well, the Germans join in. That's the real important people we need to join in this time. Because now the Germans are just going to march all over the uh, Denmarkians because their protectorates have actually left them. And so now we're just going to gain the actual region because we're awesome people. So anyways, people, that was not actually... We got a Nobel Prize! Yes, an activist just got a Nobel Prize. That is awesome. Alright, but that was actually not what I was going to focus on this episode. But somehow, yeah, we just got... We just, we're about to get Greenland. And I probably could go help this effort a little bit too. So, um, let me go get my ships. Do, 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 do. Chocolate rain. Wait, did I just win? Yeah! Yes! Okay, Canada has expanded all across the map and now we own uh, Canadian Denmark. And we took us no infamy. That was. That was just awesome. No infamy for taking over this region and doesn't really have upgraded stuff, but we can honestly fix that because we have the money with Canada. And wow, we got Greenland. So is this actually a colony or is this actually a region? I think this is a colony. This counts as a colony, but it's 100% Danish, but we could definitely fix that if we really wanted to. Let's view population of Iceland and Greenland. Oh, this is such a small population. Yeah, we could definitely displace this population if we really want to, but I don't really want to, but yay! We gained Iceland and Greenland! This was a surprising episode already. So, aw, oh, dang. Shoot. Okay. And I'm probably gonna have to release. Yep! <laughs> Just as I was saying, we gained Iceland and Greenland. Look. I'm gonna have to de-release them. So, Iceland! You are now a free nation because I cannot accept that 21 infamy. If I get that 21 infamy, then other nations get an alliance to just go home and kill me. Okay, I'm guessing I can't get my alliance back with the UK. Yeah, we, we have way too much infamy and they're not going to accept it. So, let me just increase the relationship so that they do not declare war on me. And then make sure that the Russians are now at peace with me because they could definitely fight me. Okay, and then make sure American relationships are good because they could also... Yeah, they are the most in danger of trying to kill me, so I'm going to have to make sure that they are in good eyes of me. So, anyways, um, we just, <laughs> we took a region without even really, you know, really, I wasn't planning that. That was not one of my plans this episode. I was really just planning on making this an episode of us taking over um, the rest of the Quin Yai region, but apparently this is going to be the episode where we also took over Iceland and lost it in the exact same episode. Yeah, now it's it's like that saying goes, easy come, easy goes ads, easy goes ads. No, that sounds wrong. Yeah, let's. I was trying to be funny with like making it kind of like our own special word, but it, it did not work. So let's just stick with easy come, easy go. Okay, so let's move all of our troops to the borders. So I'm probably gonna be fighting this all by myself. Really won't be that hard though. But must be honest with you, there are so many things that could go wrong go along with them 
Like their army, not mine. My army could probably just take this on pretty easily. I mean, yeah. We just... Honestly, if we just take over this part and just kind of defend the other parts, we'll be fine. And I have anti-rationalism almost there. Apparently, the Russians are dealing with some really bad rebel revolts because they're not putting them down yet. And I have... I'm starting to influence Mexico again. You know, that place that, like... That became communist! Yay! But the Vox Populi, everyone. The, the voice of the people. It's starting to spread. Alright, so now, what should we get? Should we get anything over here that would help us with our factories? No, I don't think we should get that yet. We should probably start working on our... Our military. No, we need to work on this. Sorry, I, I keep forgetting. We need to get... We need to have gas attacks. And I actually am going to stop influencing these guys. Because we actually don't need it anymore. Now that we have them ripped out of the American Sphere. And to make sure that they are ripped out of the American Sphere. Um, yeah, they don't seem to be wanting to fight them back. And neither do, other, nah, neither do the other nations. So we're just going to keep it like that. And we're just going to, you know, move in our men. When the time comes, we... Oh, shoot, we have like an entire Canadian army. Not even on the border. Okay, you guys, go over here. Start healing in Jinsu. I completely forgot about you guys. Sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah. The Ma Menace, they're coming for us. Okay. So now we have our soldiers spread out on the front. Okay, and we got this army. This army got way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, I'll divide it up as I usually do. Send this army to go over there. We have enough troops, I think. Maybe I'll go send some more troops right over here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We should have a good war front at that point. Because, um, I'm basically just going to be just trying to crush on these guys. Shouldn't be that hard. I mean, this is going to be a pretty easy front right here. I mean, yeah. But, hmm. You know what would be funny is if I got gas attacks from this. Like, this is the war like, I attained gas attacks. Like, it wasn't a big gigantic war with, like, other great powers and then, like, Fighting a big gigantic war. No, I got a great. I got gas attacks from using it on the Chinese and experimenting with different chemicals to try to kill them better. That would be a very morally great event in my history of Canada. But it would be strangely a very funny in my mind. I don't know. I I feel like I have a twisted sense of humor in some respects. Okay, so we have a rebellion. Of course, I forgot to set all my people to hunt them down. I don't think it's going to be that long. We're going to have this sorted out in a very, you know, quick, quick manner. So, um, let's sort this out. Just, like, all you guys, make sure you guys are hunting rebels. Okay, any of them in actual my own country? No, it seems like they all just spawned in, no, uh, no, just a little bit, decided to go against me. So I'm going to move this army over here, that way it separates the two. And Quinya is definitely trying to be buddy buddy with me, but I'm not gonna do anything with them. So I definitely want to go take them over. Okay, there we go. Now I separate them, and now they'll just go. Actually, I should probably move these guys over here because then that gives them closer range over there in that region. Okay, let's get back to our waiting for our Casas Belli to finally be ready and the final conquest of the Ma. I guess they're called the Ma because that's what the event said it was the Ma and. Um, I don't think we have a planned economy, actually. No, we do have a planned economy. So, planned economy, everyone. I wasn't sure, but we have a planned economy. So, I'm waiting for... Okay, and we can get some new things. So, nope, that's not really big. 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 Is healthcare big? No. Well, then. I'll make it big. Acceptable healthcare, everyone. Yay! Canadian healthcare, the best in the world. Okay, so next episode we should, or not next episode, this episode I think we'll probably be able to do it. I'm pretty sure, you know, we have some difficulties here and there. Um, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do it. I think we'll finally be able to, like, take over this region. Yeah, I think all of our people will move back into position here soon. You know, we just have to finish up with this. Yeah, these get, this shouldn't even be really a battle. Uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. We already did get the event to, oh, shoot. Okay, we have a year, but when is this going to finish? Okay, February. Okay, I'm going to wait until February, because I want to get the maximum amount of chance we might get gas stacks, because while that does, it, it is a twisted sense of humor, that is actually a good idea. Maybe we could actually get gas attacks from, you know, just 
you know, just from a little tiny war. That way, if we do have to go to big wars with someone else, we'll have the upper advantage because we'll have gas attacks and they won't. But, oh man. So, our colony over here in Iceland, it's doing quite well. Um, you know, it has just Iceland here. That's good. Over here in... Oh, I can actually build in... Because now since it's a separate country, it's now considered like... Um... Um, I can now build my own, like, naval fort there. That's good. I mean, not naval fort, um, railroad. Not railroad, uh, ship, ship thing. Um, naval base. That's what it's called, naval base. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's good. Um, we have some, we're starting to influence the Mexicans again back into our sphere. Cheers, everyone. Pressure the government to stop it. Yeah, that's actually what we need to do. Oops. And apparently, they can't even keep control of the land again. I don't think we'll be able to keep control over Mexico for long. But we'll try. I mean, pretty nice people. And the socialists won again. Booyah. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we have approximately about 100 soldiers. That's great. And with these guys, we're going to be so awesome. So these guys are almost done finishing. Actually, we kind of sped up the process, I think. These guys are going to finish up in January. Yeah, I think we severely finished up the process. So I sped up the process. Alright. So now that we have army organization and we should have... Yes, gas attack capabilities. Um, yes, now we can go to war. So, declare war. Declare war. And I guess I'll call on my one German ally. Let's see if the Germans want to go to war with us. Okay, and the Germans want to go to war with us. So on that note, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ah, God save the Queen, and welcome back to an episode of Victoria to Hard Darkness. The Canadian Let's Play, and I am your host, Shredded James, who still has to speak very, very softly because I've been recording this all in one row. And I bet you guys are wondering, why is this a different date, and why are we not at war, and why why are all these things not going right? Why why do I have an influence, sphere of influence with Mexico? Well, basically everyone, I uh, did the war that we were all do planning, and you know, it was going great, and you know, I had everything done, but what happened was is that the uh, stupid Germans... I trusted the Germans on this one, I'm so mad I did. Basically the Germans white pieced on me and I gained nothing out of this entire war. So that means all my infamy that I had racked up for that, you know, that 7.5 infamy that I'd racked up for that, it was all for basically nothing. And, you know, if this was a different game, like maybe if it was EU3 or if it was Crusader Kings 2 or, or even Hearts of Iron 3, you know, that'd be acceptable because infamy in Hearts of Iron 3 means absolutely nothing. In Crusader Kings 2, we and EU3, we'd have enough time to like, you know, we do this and we do the plan. But this is a very, very short campaign, and I have a very, very tight schedule. So, you know, I'm just gonna redo it and do we do everything. And you know, honestly, you guys don't miss much. Except the only thing that's different about this one and last one is I have gas attacks, which I wasn't even expecting to get. So apparently, you didn't even need it because, as you can see, I have gas attack defense capabilities now. So we have we have gas attacks. So I'm gonna. This is going. Uh, this is this is like going to be the worst slaughter ever. Because uh, already we have the bonus of being a civilized nation. But not only that, we have a bonus of also gas attacks, which is possibly the worst thing to ever have. So this is possibly going to be the worst war that's ever been done by the Chinese. I feel partly bad about this because because I'm going to be enslaving a nation by using gas attacks. And I won't be calling the Germans this time because, as I said. They were the ones who caused the, re the reason that caused me to like replay this all again. So, oh my goodness, gas attack capabilities of this nation is is, is terrible. This is like I, I, I'm really legitly feeling bad about this. I have gas attack capabilities right now, and basically I can annihilate them without any real justifiable cause. I mean, they're they're toast. <laughs> in flat out, in, just flat out words, they're toast. I have the advantage here. They can't really do anything. I mean, once we start fighting, it's going to be become quite clear that I have the main advantage. I mean, this this is going to be a gray spot in Canadian. This is going to be a gray spot in Canadian um, history. The fact that we use you know gas capabilities on an uncivilized nation. I mean, I mean, if you guys don't believe me, see right there. You guys could see the little gas attack like icon, and you guys know I'm not joking. I really. I did not expect to get gas attacks either. That was really, really, it was awesome. And apparently the Quinn did not join in. So actually this becomes an easier war. 
I thought I thought the guns I was gonna join, I guess they decided to cancel the alliance with me, because now I have gas attacks, but that, I would too. This is going to be a very, very intense war of me just um this is gonna be a flat out slaughter. I mean they they can't hold their own. They won't be able to hold their own against me. I mean, we're going to just basically beat them down into nothingness. And there's nothing they can really do about it. Well, there's something I could probably do about it, and that's probably stop. But I'll stop once I have this land. But dang. So everyone, this is going to be... this is You're watching the history of the very gray zone of Canada. Of Canadian's history. Of us using gas attacks on a poor, defenseless, uncivilized nation. You know, this is this is kind of the thing that they're going to be writing in the books about us in. You know, when they're going to be writing, you know, this is like the American gray area is like our efforts against the uh, Native Americans. Our, the Canadian gray area is a, is our ruthless and unprecedented response of attacking almost everyone. I mean, look at this. 46 men. They're, they're all just about to die. Watch. I, I mean, I mean, I'll do one more demonstration just to, so you guys know. So this is the battle, the Battle of Pinyin. It's already in our favor because we have gas attacks. I'm, I'm literally not kidding. This is, this is just, oh my. I, I'm definitely not feeling right about this invasion. This was not, this was not the most, this was not one of those invasions I'm proud of. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, remember last episode I said it would kind of be like really awesome and kind of twisted to kind of see this. I'm, I'm regretting everything I said. This was, this was not the moment of triumph I thought it was going to be. This this is terrible. Okay, Pinyai, please tell me you guys are doing peace. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Good. Okay, so now we have a good another chunk of China inside our sphere. Now we're starting to look like a China empire, and we are really severely conquering them. I mean, we we only start out with this, and honestly, we wouldn't really be that powerful. But now we have all of this, which is way more powerful. Now we have to start expanding some of our things. Which, we actually have a liberal government. I didn't even realize we had a liberal government in store. So let's get back to communism. Um, yeah, but dang. I feel, I, I feel really kind of dirty about that. That was uh, not a crowning achievement in, in all light. I mean, uh, okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop dwelling on it because, you know, what happened, it, what happened, happened. Um, I'm, maybe I'll make a statue for the fallen... Chinese men that gave their lives against, you know, a ruthless dictator like me. I'll keep some soldiers out here, but dang. So, we now have Queen Yai. That's a good celebration. And now, we only have uh, only two states left of China to conquer. That's the actual Chinese Empire, which we still don't have a... No, we do have a peace. So, could we conquer the entire domain of it yet? No, we'd still have to wait to take some regions. So, let's see. How many regions would we need to take? I'm guessing we need to take all of these regions right over here, and then we could probably annex them after that. So how many regions would that be approximately? Because we need to start planning accordingly. Um, let's see, where I have to see flags. So China is over here. This is probably going to be about three and four. Four regions, I'm guessing. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so to get the rest of China, we're probably going to need four regions. So, whew, we're probably going to have to burn some infamy. So let's just sit back and relax and, oh no, Germany's in trouble again. What do you guys need? Uh, Germany liberation of British? Oh, shh, quite stud, no. This one's going to come back to bite me, but I definitely cannot join a war against the British. That is a big no. That is a big no. <laughs> The, 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 I know there's a couple things I could probably do in this let's play, but fighting against the British, tch, you're out of your mind. Okay, um, if we are going to build a uh, steel factory, we should probably make sure it's in the right region. So, let me make sure, where's my steel being produced? Right over here in Newfoundland, and a little bit over here in there. So, we need to build a factory of steel in Newfoundland. We already, think we already built one, so we need to build one more in this little province over here over here so what is this province I don't know but it's gonna build our steel that way we have a steel factory oh it's Alberta Alberta which is our place where we're building a lot of different things so over here we have an ammunition factory a couple other things um we should build a steamer shipyard or oh, another automobile factory yes 
My obsession with the automobiles factory is probably going to be the death of my economy. Uh, okay, we also need some... What's some more commoner things? We have a good... I think we have a good explosive line. Maybe a dye factory? No, we need a liquor factory. Okay, a dye factory. We could probably build a fertilizer factory right over here. Yeah. Um, New Brunswick? What's New Brunswick? Like, where is this? Dang, I, I swear I've heard that before, but I don't know where it is, so... Um, build an electrical gear. Yeah, we'll start with that. Build some electrical gear. And then we'll start building on top of that. Okay, in Alaska, I want you guys to build airplanes. Okay. And over here, you guys aren't building anything. You guys... Hmm. Build a telephone factory. So I'll make sure, because how are we doing in telephones? We are the leading producers in telephones. Yes, we are crushing the competition like crazy. And automobiles, how are we doing? Yes! Okay, we are, I'm feeling really confident. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, we are the leading producers of this, but wait, wait, wait. I think this is the communist government. No, no, this isn't the communist government. I, I, for a moment, I thought the, com the communists had their own separate government than the, uh, or separate economy than the uh, capitalists. Because, like, you know, I, I didn't think we'd actually beat the British, but apparently we are, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not going to get a military line, military access. Um, America definitely does not like us. We're going to kind of help them. America's actually going through a war? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, shoot, I could have joined America. I probably would have made a liking. Oh my goodness, the Germans. Wow, you guys are just... You guys severely like us. I love the enthusiasm, too. Um, I still won't join your war, but thank you guys for still liking us, even though we seriously are a bad ally. I mean, we are... We just constantly just, like, say, Yeah, we'll join you guys. Sure. And then just, like, betray you guys in the end. So, yeah. Anyways, um, so... What I'm thinking, guys, is... In total, um... Oh, shoot. What the heck happened to our economy? Okay, seems like we cannot tariff anymore, so back to zero-based tariffs. Seems like our economy is somehow faltering a little bit, so we're going to go back to zero-based tariffs. Okay. Yeah, seems like something's going wrong, so I'm just going to go back to zero-based tariffs. Anyways, it seems like to me, it, this is... To annex the rest of China and just the rest of the rest of the little states of China, let's see, it's going to take us about 5, 10, 15, 20 infamy right there. Um... 20 and then this is one so one region no this is two regions of course yeah this is no wait this actually might all be one region no this is two regions I, that's what I thought okay so one two three four five six this is six regions so to bring it down I need to at least bring it down to two regions so 5 10 15 20 20, 20, 40, okay, and then 50, 60, okay, so in total, the rest of this will cost us 60 infamy, which at the very, very most, at the very most, this will all cost us 60 infamy, so what I'm probably going to do is just, you know, spend the rest of this to get all the way down, then what I'm going to do is, um, uh, well, let's see, would, would we be able to just do this if I just, like, took little bits of China? I don't think we would be, but maybe if we took these two regions and then just left... No, because this also has this, so that actually counts as its own region. So yeah, I'd have to take all this. This maybe I could get away with, but maybe not. So, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. This was, I guess, a very, very short episode. I played a little bit longer, but um, yeah, this is... You know, we are really looking like China now. I mean, we have the vast majority of the Chinese, like, big gigantic empire we have. Look at that, Canadian Chinese Empire. That swag right there. I, I just, it just looks so like good. I mean, we have a whole entire border just like, just gigantic. And now, I really do feel like we're a gigantic nation because we just, I mean, we have protection almost everywhere and the Jacobson Rebels. Had, the Jacobson Rebels had to ruin my mood, didn't they? They just had to ruin my mood. Okay, go, go kill them all. Go kill those stupid rebels, threats, and all that jazz. <sighs>
Oh, and the communist we bow. Well, this is this is a double whammy. So we have the communists and the the Jacobsons rebelling. I guess trying to change something about my economy. Great. Okay, so you guys actually I need you guys to go all the way back here to save my economy. And that's where we'll end the episode as soon as this ends one. And January first, everyone, nineteen oh three. And I forgot to forgot to say we made it to the new year we made it to the new like generation and we won a Nobel Prize now that is a good way to end the episode so thank you guys for watching um comment rate subscribe tell me what you guys think of this let's play and tell me what you guys have thoughts about because this is this is let's play has been going pretty you know it's been, it's been an awesome let's play I think just like all this this has been awesome so anyways thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time